Hi everyone! In this short R tutorial, I show you three simple ways to delete duplicate rows in R. So for that, I have this sample data set with three columns and 13 rows. And in this data set, we have duplicates. So to see them, we can just order the data by the ID and the score. And when we look at the data again, we have here all the ID 1, 2 and 3 together and also ordered by the score. So it's easy to see that we have here one duplicate, also here and also these two rows are exactly the same. So we want to delete them. I have here three options how you can deal with that. What I do here, I define the new data set as the data which is not duplicated within the data. When I run this and look at the data, we actually see here we only have 10 rows and we got rid of these three duplicate rows. Another way to delete the duplicated rows, we can just use the unique function here so we only keep the unique rows of the table. And when we run that and look at the data, we actually see we have exactly the same 10 rows here. The third option uses the package dplyr and here we have the function distinct. We can just use that function to delete these three rows. As you can see here, we have the same 10 rows. And when we want to delete duplicates based on two columns, then we can just use the same three options. So here in the duplicated function, we define ID and score as the columns we want to look for duplicates. So when we run that and look at the data, then we actually only get eight. There is no duplicate which has the same ID and the same score as you can see here. We can also do that with the unique function and within the unique function the same thing as before we define our data but now we define the two columns ID and score which we have in here. So with the unique function we also get these eight rows. And the third option is using the deplier package and here we just use the distinct function and we define the ID and the score as column where we want to detect duplicates and the keep all equals true is just to say that we want to keep all the columns. When we run that and look at the data we have actually also the same eight observations which don't consist any duplicates within the ID and the score column. So with that video I wanted to show you three different ways how to deal with duplicates. I hope you got some value out of this short explanation and these examples. Thanks a lot and as always have a great day.